We're at the Monaco Yacht Show. In fact, it's the day before the Monaco Yacht Show because they're still setting up. And this is a video about Silent Yachts, the Austrian-owned company that builds solar-powered electric catamarans. But the yacht that we're on at the moment, named Black Edition, who knows why, was not built by Silent Yachts. But there is a very strong connection between this yacht and Silent Yachts. And if you want to find out what that connection is, stick around. High-end power cats are in vogue at the moment, and this 80-foot all-aluminium yacht was built by relative newcomers Vision F Yachts in Istanbul, in Turkey. Michael Kula, the founder of Silent Yachts, is working in partnership with the shipyard to share his knowledge so they can offer hybrid solutions aboard their own yachts. And we're going to have a chat with Michael about this collaboration and learn about the latest news from Silent Yachts. So tell me, what is the difference between Silent Yachts and Vision F Yachts? Very simple. Silent Yachts is purely electric. Electric drivetrain, no compromise. Huge solar roof. The whole boat is built around the fact that it's a solar boat. Vision F is purely diesel. Motorboat, traditional, more or less motorboat, of course, modern catamaran, most modern state-of-the-art um, diesel propulsion, but diesel. And in the middle, we have Silent Vision F, which is hybrid. That means powerful diesel and a powerful electric propulsion on the same shaft. So with the Diesel motor, in combination with the electric motor that works as an alternator, you can recharge the batteries. You have several different drive modes. And of course, you can run the electric motors out of the batteries that are being uh, filled up by solar energy. The main difference is there is the roof. It's about three times bigger than this existing one that you can see here. Because it has to carry the solar cells. Firstly, it has to carry the solar cells, exactly. And secondly, I love shade because, again, um, we are talking about, about practical uh, use of a boat. And if somebody is living on the boat, he will rather search for shade than for the sun. The battery bank is also bigger. So that means all the household appliances run on solar power. And of course, the air conditioning, the cooling systems, the fridge freezers, and um, most of all, also the hybrid propulsion means the electrical part of the hybrid propulsion can be solar powered. Unlike sailing cats, you don't have the trampoline because the foredeck is used for toys. toys. In this case, uh, uh, a Sea-Doo with its own crane, but you do have this cozy little sunken cockpit. And we have um, a Williams here or a silent tender. I was surprised to see a matte black boat because we're trying to be green here and it's yeah. going to get hot, isn't it? So does that not mean more AC? No, as it's a green boat, we didn't, still did not want to paint it green. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and as the name of this boat already indicates, uh, the name is black. <laughs> no, it does not get hot for the very simple reason it's an aluminum boat. And metal is a very good uh, heat conductor. That means as the hull, usually on a boat, is in the water, mm -hmm. submerged, uh, the hull has a water cooling. And uh, therefore, the hull sides never get hot because the, the heat will be directly guided it's into the... Dissipated into it? the water. Exactly. Perfect. And we were talking about sustainability and when, when you started out, when you founded uh, Silent Yachts, catamarans were niche and electric yachts were niche. But niche now of a niche. Yeah. Niche of a niche. <laughs> but now catamarans are also enjoying something yes. of a revival, aren't they? Yeah, for, for obvious reasons. Everybody who has ever been on a cut uh, enjoys the, uh, the, the luxury, the, the width uh, and, and the, the space of a catamaran. Six meters wide, 
This is six meters wide, and of course you have the companionways on each side as well, so yes. the hull is even, even wider. And this is where you see the great advantage of the catamaran configuration, of course, all this living space. Wow. Not possible on a, on a monohull of, of 80 feet, not even on 100 feet. So, and this is the owner's cabin. Please have a look. Oh, wow, this is lovely. Okay, and this is pretty spacious. There are use cases in which definitely a hybrid propulsion is even superior to a pure electric propulsion. If you want to go, for example, from Miami or Fort Lauderdale to the Bahamas, if you go this with a silent, means purely electrically solar powered about six knots. If you allow the diesel to run at least for, a, for some time, it can be up to 10, 11 knots, not more. But if you want to be there in a shorter period of time, then the Silent Vision F, the hybrid, is the solution because with this boat you go with 18 or more knots uh, for longer distances. But when you reach then the Bahamas, you switch to electric mode and you go in electric mode from one island to the next, from one bay to the next, purely solar, solar powered with six, seven, eight knots. It's not just about the big boats, is it? Because you recently launched your first e-tender, the ST400, a four-meter tender, and I think there's a five-meter model uh, in the pipeline as well. Tell me how that came about. Now, yeah, for obvious reasons, we need a tender for our boats. All our clients ask us for it, and, and so we're more or less were forced uh, to design one because we, like with the other boats, we were not happy what we found, uh, with what we found on the market. And that means um, our four meter tender has unbelievable eight dedicated seats. And this is pretty unique. Uh, this tender has a lot of storage. It has an anchor winch. It has everything what you need. Um, um, and it has uh, the possibility to be powered by a jet propulsion system or an outboard. And talking about speed, the latest news from Silent Yachts is that you're going into the high performance electric market yeah. with the Silent Speed 28. In fact, this boat is a foiling boat, a, a foil supported boat, a very proven technology coming from the 80s. Uh, the hull is from Heisukat, a um, well known company building this boat since more than 40 years. And uh, it reduces the, um, the friction on, on, uh, in the water by about 30%. And we equip this boat now, it's unique, with an electric drivetrain, very powerful one. And this electric drivetrain uh, enables us with uh, two times 200 kilowatts, enables us to go beyond 60 knots. Have a look at that, Moet. You can see that looks pretty unusual already. Notice also that it is a catamaran. You might not have seen that before. So it is a catamaran with, with tunnels. Uh, we have surface props. That means only half of the prop is submerged. The other one is up in the air when the boat is planing. Uh, we have two fins in the aft uh, on which the boat is planing and one central fee about, uh, a foil about in the, in the middle. And uh, this makes the difference. This wing alone gives about 40, 50 uh, kilogram of lift. You're kidding. In the, in the back, yeah. At 30 knots. Just this little tiny wing? This 40, 50 kilograms. A couple of years ago, uh, everybody said this is a niche that nobody needs. Uh, we don't need solar panels on the roof because we have a generator. These were the arguments we heard from, from um, other brands. In the end, uh, I think it's clear now to everybody that it's not a niche anymore. Uh, it's, it will become the mass market and, and fuel powered boats will become a niche. I think this is, this is the way to go and, and therefore we're very happy to, to, to assist other brands in, in, in making 
hybrid boats, in making uh, greener boats, in reducing uh, the pollution of the environment. And especially, and this is for me personally a, a, big, a big thing as well, um, to get more comfort uh, to yachting, uh, to show the people that they can have the same comfort they are accustomed to from their home or from their previous yacht on a yacht that does not destroy the environment.